and welcome to x and Garage and today more work on the Blackbird. Yay! We're going to put the other pipe on for the oil cooler. We're going to put the cap on for the radiator and then we're going to start it up. A little PTFE -E tape on the connector and it's one pipe tight Pipes are a little bit on the long side. They're going all right. There seems to be quite a bit of slack. Let's see how it goes. Any oil in it? Right, let's see if there's plenty of battery in it. Let's see if it'll start. Let's try that again. And we've got pump.
she runs and so far no leaks I need to go outside for a little fresh air good grief so we've had it running that right, sounds pretty good we've done most of the wiring so it's all color coded properly we've just got a one little wire to do this is bare which is a relay for the horn and I want to reposition the Scott Euler because it's just sitting there and it should go vertical or as vertical as you can get it at the minute yeah, it's horizontal and it ain't doing much there is a space under the tank uh, which makes it all good to get at but you can still fill it because it's got a red extension pipe that comes with it and that would be a good option it would make it work properly but I mean I'd have to drill into the frame oh we'll work around it we'll find somewhere nice to put the Scott oiler um, and then it's just a matter of tidying up the heated grips, the horn wire at the front, and doing the fairings. They're not bad, they need a clean, they're not pristine, but who oh matters, doesn't matter, it's a 100,000 mile bike, 20 year old, nobody's going to worry about that. There is a piece missing out of the nose cone, which I'm going to take to a friend in both call and get repaired, um, which I should take off tonight actually and drop it down to him, the sooner I do that, the sooner I get it back and it won't be long before this baby's on the road yeah. and she starts with no problem at all sounded lovely, no leaks nothing, and the new cans sound nice, Scorpions always sound nice on a Honda so let's see what we can do with the Scott like that and see where we can position it Knife. Need a knife. When I was working as a mechanic, a lot of people threw these away. They didn't think they were any good. But if you position them in the right place, they work very well and will prolong the life of your chain a lot. It works on a pumping action where a vacuum comes here it's from the engine and lifts the little plunger inside which pumps oil down into the chain a lot of people think it's just gravity fed so they lay it on its side or on an angle and think oh it'll just run out but as you can see it doesn't oil doesn't run out of it for one thing it's too thick but another thing that pump has to be moving up and down so we find a nice place to put it. It'll work properly. It'll make the chain last a lot longer. Everything's covered in soil. Where's my spray? Where's my spray? Find spray, quick, now. GD85, I love this stuff. It lubricates, cleans, also leaves an oily film so that stuff doesn't seize up again. Very, very versatile stuff. And it also smells nice too. I love the smell of it. And this stuff gets everywhere. Well, it's meant to get everywhere around the chain, not around the luggage compartment. But, as like I said, it wasn't fitted properly. 
sure it's just gone everywhere. Clean this over a bit. I love the smell of napalm in the afternoon. Or GT5. And it will burn. So don't put it on a hot engine. If it's too hot, it will ignite. And you'll have flames. Right. You didn't, I did. Bastard. Knew it. Knew it. Right. Yes, this side would be perfect. A bloody big air horn wasn't in the way. That's what makes takes up all the room on that side. So there would be a good angle. bits and pieces on this bike which um, didn't come from Honda. How about behind the tank mount? Lots of room there. Mm -hmm. Just gotta take the tank off and drill a hole. Camber there because of the seat. Put it down the side by the handle. Mm 